Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Today we'll be streaming something pretty pretty unique, I believe. It's I, I haven't seen too many people talking about this game. It's kind of a kind of a weird uh, weird one. And actually when I when I first got this game, it was a quite a I mean a kind of relic from the past, I mean, because Nowadays that you have uh, internet and you can find out information about all, all the upcoming games, it's kind of kind of hard to be surprised by a game or see if you find a game in a store that you've never seen before. But back in the day, I mean, before you had all those all these gaming sites, you you had uh, gaming magazines, but not everyone had access to them. So it was quite often that I'd go into a game store and just look around and maybe get a game based entirely in on its uh block box art i'd look at oh this one this one looks cool i'll look around see a couple of screenshots in the back and decide to buy it so yeah in the, uh nowadays it's better be this way because you, there's less likelihood that you'll get a, a bad game so many so, so many reviews and so such easy access to previews and reviews but uh, and the downside is that you also don't get very surprised by weird games that you just happen to find in the store. And in this case, I got this one based entirely on this box art. <laughs> yeah, <look at> that. <laughs> That's a weird one. A uh, big monster right right on uh, on the front. I, I I had to get, I had to check this out. I mean, well, what the th what is this? <laughs> Creature Shock. So this is actually a CD-ROM game. I have the I have the discs here, but uh, I'll be using uh, mounted images of these discs. And it's actually an on-rails shooter, a sci-fi horror-themed on-rails shooter. <laughs> Has some w pretty unique creature designs. <laughs> kind of, you might might consider this uh, nope the game. You <laughs> find a creature and you just go nope. Uh, I'm out. <laughs> and pretty weird story. CG, the CG cutscenes are uh, kind of iffy, not not that not that, that well made, but it has interesting mechanics in the shooters. But there are actually two kinds of levels. There's a a shoot 'em up kind of level, and then an on rails shooter kind of level. So the first one will be a, a shoot 'em up, and then we'll get to the the on rails with which the which will show the actual weird creatures on this game. So let's get started. Over here. Start up DOS. <laughs> what? Whoa. Hang on. <laughs> A little bit. Okay. Looking good. Okay. There we go. It is the year 2123, and the massive overpopulation of the Earth has forced the human race to investigate the colonization of the other planets. To this end, the tribal class survey ships were constructed and each dispatched with its own mission to find mankind a new home. The Myrmidon to Mars, the Aztec to Venus, and the Amazon to the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Captain, please come to the bridge. I'll be there in a moment, Alex. So in the future where Earth is overpopulated and look, try, they're trying to colonize other, other planets and moons of the solar system. Triumph, eight, nine, nine, normal. <laughs> 90 CG. Good morning, Captain. We are approaching the Carboniferous asteroid we detected yesterday. I would like to attempt a fly pass to scan it more closely. Course alteration locked in. Scan commencing now. Okay, Alex, what have we got? Spectral data indicates a variety of compounds. Carbon dioxide, <laughs> water, ammonia. Relevant data is on screen ready for access. I am also picking up sulfates, amino acids, and proteins. Hmm. 
Alex, those are organics. Have you scanned for any form of life? No point, Captain. The asteroid is obviously alive. Are but you what? sure? Certain. Should I attempt evasive action? <laughs> Activating emergency procedures. Jesus, Alex, talk to me. Warning. Drive system overload. Detonation imminent. Captain, please commence manual shutdown of drive systems. Launching automatic distress beacon. Beacon launched. Initiating lifeboat pre-launch sequence. Warning, you have 10 seconds to reach safety. 10 lifeboat seconds. Shock. Right, let me skip these credits. Okay. <laughs> okay. Adjust the levels because the, for some reason, the credits sequence uh, has a very loud music, so I turned it off. Okay. Let's let's get going then. Mission one. I'm going to try and get through this mission. It's kind kind of kind of hard a little bit, but if I don't, I can just skip to the next couple of missions. I actually I actually w went through this game already and, and uh, played all all of the missions, so I could skip to any one of it if I wanted, just in case. But let's give it a shot. The moon. a little ship <laughs> and here we have our protagonist this is this is us <laughs> Notice that cutscenes in these games in this game are pretty quiet. <laughs> not a, not a lot of sound going on, and they actually uh, they actually uh, saved a lot on lip syncing because uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, uh, none of the characters actually speak while their face is on screen. So I'll just <laughs> communicate quietly. Oh, a lot of silence. <laughs> Even in the beginning cutscene, not sure if you noticed, but every time the woman spoke, the, her face was not shown, so <laughs> they didn't have to animate her lips. This guy looks like a supervillain. <laughs> we picked up a distress beacon from the survey ship Amazon. You are being sent to assess the situation. The last location transmission showed the ship to be in the vicinity of Saturn. Their next survey point would have been Titan. Briefing us on our mission here. 
We've assigned you one of the new FTL scout ships, a Lynx Phase 4. FTL. We'd like it back in one piece. Uh, I'm not making any promises. Like I said, this game can get, get a little hard. Prep and launch from base 7 in 20 minutes. <laughs> This is level one of first person shooter from behind and I mean the uh, space shooter seen from behind. And, but they actually, they actually have uh, inverted controls, so if I move the mouse down, it ship goes up. Down there you have our shield. Like to try and complete this level without running out. Yeah, well, already, already lost on on the unit. Kind of hard to judge distance with these strikes images. Not that hard to dodge it though. Go at, right at Space mines. Okay, we can get so far, but it's right at the end that it can get a little tricky. And of course, if you, if you die at the end, so you'll have to start all over, so I'm going to try my best. Oh well. Space jelly. Oh. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, very Star Fox except it uses uh, 2D images, sprites instead of 3D models. I mean, even the ship is, is just a collection, is not a 3D model, it's just a bunch of images that change depending on where you're moving and you know, how it's oriented. Yeah, I'm assuming all of these ships came from that asteroid or something, or maybe they're, they're the asteroid is just one thing that, uh oh, one thing that the first uh, creature that is coming. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of spaceships here. Oh. Uh, level can actually go for quite a long time, especially the boss fight at the end. So I hope I don't go. Another push spot, another shield down, another push shield down. Another shield down. Hope I don't have to do this. Ah, oh, come on. Five of you again. Oh, come on. And there you have the boss. Unfortunately, we don't get a life bar, so we kind of don't know that we're doing damage to it. You have to just keep shooting until he dies. Oh no. Really? I can pause the game, I can...
lower the volume a little bit. Especially this, all this constant shooting sound. <laughs> kind of big it. Okay. Should be better. Oh no. Uh, it's kind of hard to fire, aim, and dodge at the same time. I mean, if you're dodging, you're, you're losing. Whoa. You're losing your your aim. Like half of the level is this boss fight, the other half is getting to it. Oh no. Come on. Just have to keep firing at it. I think I think that yeah I think I have to aim at the very bottom of it, right on, on the on the eyes I believe or something of that of the thing. <laughs> yeah I think I see a little bit of a few, a few explosions and even the music right now we don't have any music more oh any more music it takes a while. So. Come on. Just hope I don't I don't run out of sh shield before. Uh oh. Three I three units left. Come on. Oh, actually, I got got some shield back, but then I lost again. Oh, dear. oh no. Come on. You really should have made the music loop at least. Come on. Oh no. Okay. I think I got one and then lost again. I'm still at three un shield units. Oh no, two shield units. Come on. Okay. Got him. Control? Can you see this? First try. Analysis confirms that thing is organic. It's alive, Commander. Any suggested action control? So yeah, the asteroid uh, took over the ship and engulfed it. And now we are going inside. I'm going to look for a landing site. Arrived after the ship got attacked. Oh, we've got a little welcome wagon here. Take care of these guys first, then. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's, this is actually a one section, one one type of section of the of the on rail shooter. There is an, another type that's coming up. Uh oh. Okay, so here we have the main interface of the of the actual game. We have a on the in the corner here we have uh, this this uh, panel that shows three three. Uh, units we have a, a D, like a DNA scan 61% and then we have our that's our our armor we, ha we are at 98% I, I think I got shot once we have three smart bombs and we have this little cursor that allows you us to tell to inform where we want to go so this is actually it allows us to pick a path at some points kind of like a, a, a point-and-click adventure game but with shooting so let's try going to the left first. So this level is actually a, a kind of a maze. I mean, this, the first path branches out a lot and, until until it reaches the the, the end. 
Uh oh. Okay. So when I when I do this, I'm actually activating my shield. But when I activate the shield, the, my gun's energy goes down, so I can actually. I have to manage my my energy and the the, the sh gun energy actually uses. Uh, oh, come on. And I can't I can't just shoot him anywhere. The, I have to hit his his weak point right at, at in his chest. The problem is the shooting him also wastes energy. There you go. So it's kind of interesting mechanic where you have to balance your your shield and your shots. So you, if you if you hold the shield too, for too long, you you run out of shield. But if you shoot too much, you also run out of shield. So you have to kind of be careful of how how much energy you're spending so you don't you don't run out or or else you'll take damage. So yeah, I took a lot of damage there. But yeah, this is just the first run. I was I was just. Uh, Using it to illustrate the the gameplay. I'll probably I'll probably die on this run, and then on the, on the next one I'll try again. Maybe another another path. Uh oh. Yeah. Little creepy car. Come on, come on. When you see, yeah. There you go. When the four tri red triangles are. Or on the side of the cursor, that means it's uh, in, on top of a weak point on, on the on the actual target that I have to uh, have to hit. Okay, so we now we have a branching path here. Let's keep going left. I'm at 56. I believe, yeah, we can get some upgrades for uh, health and even for our gun, so we can have more energy to use. Little green pool down there. Uh oh. Hello. Your, your weak points are on your big eyes, and you keep. Out. When you see the screen gl glowing blue, that means I, I managed to block an attack with the shield. <laughs> Ow! I didn't block that one. Ow, come on. Like I said, I, I'm, I have to sometimes wait for my gun to recharge. I can see down there. And blocking also... also uses up energy, so there you go. Let's keep going. And actually there's a, another path to the left, so let's keep going left. Over here. Yeah. Tunnels. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. Well, aren't you the cutest little demonic hell spawn, aren't you? <laughs> right in, in the head. The eyes are the weak points. Okay. Sometimes they're very tiny and hard to hard to hit. There you go. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, keep going forward. There's this this is the little uh, storage compartment that you can get some upgrades. These Red balls. Sometimes they're uh, there. You uh, recover your health, and sometimes or your shield rather, and sometimes they upgrade your gun. Let's see. This one is nice gun upgrade. So now I have. Uh, I should have 150% uh, 
Yeah, see, it's charging up. And I have now I have 150% energy on my on my gun. So it means I could use up more more shots and more shields without having to wait for it to recharge. Oh, this is blocked. Okay, go back then. Wait, back here first. learned your lesson, didn't you? Get out of here, come on. <laughs> okay, let's keep going forward. Also the <laughs> interesting thing about this game is you never know what you're going to expect what you're going to find, uh, what to expect. Except these little guys, they're always crawling around the corridor. The corridor. Three shots, and they go away. Let's keep going left. The DNA sequence of uh, is climbing, that means there's something up ahead. 46%, 47. Another storage place. Uh oh. Okay, so we, now we have another one of these uh, sections. Ouch. Ow, run. running out of shit. Uh, kinda hard to keep track of everyone's everyone's attack. Uh. Okay, wait. Gotta wait for my shield to my gun to recharge. A lot of health there. It's 36, 36 percent of armor. That's not very good. Okay. Let's hope the storage has a health upgrade. I'm, I'm kind of need it. Need that. What? <laughs> Got him. So yeah, the little jump scare there. <laughs> Dang. Okay, let's keep keep going forward. Like I said, I lost a lot of health uh, right at the beginning, so I'm not sure how well I'll do this time, but. If I die, I'll just try again and maybe pick another path and we'll come across some different creatures. <laughs> uh -oh. You again. Come here. Oh, ow! Ow, my deck! Get off, get off! I need, I need my neck. So yeah, you kind of have a little limited time to to take these guys out before they they get to you. The smart bomb uh, I can actually use to attack without losing, without having to aim, or without having to wait for them to to 
show their their weak points, so it's easier. But I only have three of them, so. Uh oh. Hello. Ooh. Like I said, th this is nope the game. <laughs> uh, just, yeah. Stop it. Ah, okay. I think it does three shots and then I can hit it right. Come on. Let me hit. Let me shoot your butt. Come on. Come here. Ah, very hard to, to aim. It moves around too much. Uh oh. Still at 100. The, the top number is the, the, the enemy's health. Middle number my health, and bottom number my my gun energy. Right, still having fun. Ah, come on. Still having fun. Shut up. Ah. Come here, one more. Ah, it moves around too much. Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. And it fires three times. What? Didn't fire that time, I could have. Dang it. Uh, okay. 18, yeah, I'm very low health. Ah, come on. Okay. Got one shot. Doesn't work if the. Doesn't matter if I shoot him if the arrows aren't. Okay. Yeah, I could still shoot him if while he's firing, but it's too risky. Okay. 62. Ouch. Okay. 37. Almost there. 24. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So let's see where which way should I go? Center, right or left or oh. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh Maybe right this time. We'll be going left a lot. See what's over here. Yeah, I don't remember wh what exactly. I don't have this this place this thing memorized. So. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay. You again. At least this guy has a path that's easier to predict where he's going to be, so he's kind of easy to fire. To uh oh. Uh, let's see over here, maybe. Hello again. Um. Ouch. Oh dear. I'm almost dead. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. Come on, give me a chance to shoot you. not quite a spider, he's more like a caterpillar maybe? But still. Ow. That fires lasers. <laughs> Laser firing caterpillar. Ouch. Okay, one more. Okay. Wait for my 
gun to recharge. There. Uh oh. Uh, um, hello. Mm. Okay. Ouch. Almost out of, out of energy. Oh dear. Oh no. Ouch. Ow. Uh oh. I'm all out of shield and out of energy. Oh no. Uh oh. Well. Alright, be me. collection of creatures and I'm now part of the collection <laughs> the end it is the year and the game just restarts and the massive <laughs> but luckily like I said you can skip to the the next level to the level you were so don't have to do that shooting part again can you see this analysis confirmed that thing is organic it's alive commander Oh, let's give it another shot. I can skip this. We already saw him arriving. <laughs> initial area. Not that hard. I mean, you can easily see them coming. Uh oh. Well. Okay, Only 2% lost, no, not, not the big deal. Okay, let's try going right this time. <laughs> Hello. I already know where your weak point is, so goodbye. This would be cool on an, as an actual on-rail shooter on the arcade, but it's kind of hard to, to aim with just mouse controls. Oh no, this guy. I hate him. I hate this guy. He's so tiny. Come on. Ah. Get off. Yeah, hey, this guy, that guy's hitbox is very, very small, so very hard to hit. Luckily, he only takes a very low, a little bit. How much? Yeah, 96. So he only took 2% damage of my armor. So not that big a deal. This weapon upgrade here too. Nice. Yeah, if we go come across another another yeah fork in the path, we keep going right again. Ah, uh, you again. Come on. Well, the, at least the closer he gets, the easier it is to hit. But also, you have less time to hit. Okay. Only three three shots, and he's he's gone. Zero percent on not not nothing close by so far. Uh oh, the DNA scan is climbing. That means something big is coming. Fifty percent, sixty percent, seventy. Uh oh. Oh, hello there. Um, ouch. Kinda looks like a deep sea creature, like one of the weird fishes. Ugh. 
green green thing in, in his, on his chest is his weak point. Yeah, you're like a giant crustacean with a head of a, of a weird fish. Ow, come on. There you go. Yeah, it's n not not that hard. I mean, they have to take take the opportunities of when his weak point is exposed, but. It's definitely a lot easier than that spider caterpillar thing. Keep going right. Uh oh, you again. Ah, come on. Get off. I mean that... What? You again? Come on, you. Actually, I'm actually not sure if these attacks are, are random or, or pre-programmed or something. Ouch. Dang it. So they might they might be random and I just got unlucky here, or maybe they always attack twice in this particular area, I'm not sure. This looks like a this looks like a dead end. Oh wait, no, I think. Oh no, another another one of these sections. So yeah, you see the same guy from before, but this time he has a cannon on his back. Nice. You have these bugs first. Whoa. You have to remember to click uh, the. I mean, you you left click to shoot, and you hold right right click to. to Hold the right button to for the shield, and so it's um, a matter of clicking the mouse at the right time, uh, the right on the right place. Well, let's go down there again. Wow! Whoa! I actually know that on the path to the right, there's a, a monster waiting to eat you. So if you if you try clicking on the right, you you get you get eaten right away. So I'm not going to do that, <laughs> unless you want to see what kind of monster eats you. <laughs> Let's try going this way instead. I think the the caterpillar creature is on, on the other side. So Let's go this way. Avoid him. I hope I hope this path leads to the the end boss as well, but I'm not not really sure. Like I said, I, I don't have the layout of this level memorized. So okay, let's keep going right over here, maybe. No, the, this game has actually five chapters, and this is chapter two. I mean, the first one was the shooting. Okay, shoot him up. Ah, come here. The third chapter is another shoot 'em up level, and then the fourth and fifth chapters are another of these uh, rail shooter levels. So you know this this is not the rest of the game. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh, you have a lot of those. Uh oh. Ouch. I might use a smart bomb here. These guys fire a lot of bullets. On screen. Okay. Ah, come on. Out of energy. I have to finish them off quickly so they don't so they don't pile up. There we go. 
Well, I lost a lot of health, but I think, uh, yeah, I think I, I did a good job there. Okay. Uh, right or left? I mean, maybe we haven't been going right along, so maybe I, I will, maybe if I go right again, I'll go in a circle. So I'm gonna try left this time. You're not, you're not a big deal, you're not a big deal. Okay, what's over here? Hmm. Yeah, I believe this is the end. This is actually where all the, all the f and final paths converge, so... Wait, what? Weren't you dead? What are you doing here? Um, yep, I don't trust you. Hello! You're the creature from the box cover. Your tiny, squinty little eyes. Right. Ouch. There, got him. Now, got use my smart bomb against him. Ouch. Come here. We got some boss fight music going on. into the woman. Hmm. Okay, we'll bring bring her it in whatever. I'm not sure. I don't think it actually is the woman. I don't think she survived. It is the, still the creature, but it turned in, in back into her. So this is not quite a, a rescue. It's more like a capture and we're going to interrogate this creature. <laughs> I think at first, I, uh, when I first played this, I also thought we had res rescued her, that she had somehow survived, but then they, I think they, they explained that this is a, a creature that's taking her shape. Again, no, 
no di dialogue in these cutscenes. They don't, didn't want to animate anyone's lips, so... I am Locutus of Borg. <laughs> kind of look like. <laughs> hey, nice job. Mm. Oh, you got a little stats. Shots on target, 21%. Oh dear, that's not, not very good. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this game actually has two discs, and so I have to... You, I actually mounted both CD images on a DOS box here, so I can just switch, yeah, easily switch between two discs without having to open my disk drive. <laughs> With Command of all, please report to the base CO. Jason Barr to the CO's office. Thank you. Like I said, very very quiet cutscene. No, not a lot of dialogue or even background music or anything. Very silent. Okay, next next briefing, mission brief. We haven't much time, so I'll keep this short. Following Captain Sumoki's interrogation, we have discovered some very worrying Looks and behaves like Captain N. Sumoki of there the UN. There appears to be another Amazon alien team. installation somewhere on Tethys. Tethys. It's a listening station transmitting to something outside the solar system. The third moon of Saturn. The exact location is unknown. We want you to disable its data acquisition system. Leave the transmitter functional if possible so that we can trace the beam. Hmm. Good luck, Commander. So there's something on this base that's transmitting something. We have to try and destroy that, that device. So here we go. OK, Control. I'm here. No sign yet. Christ, what the hell what? was that? Analyzing. Damn, that was close. Control, help me out here. We think it might be from the listening station. Incoming scan beam. I'm being scanned, Control. Any suggestions? Hold your fire. It may lead to your target. Okay, Control. Mm. Out. Okay, so it may lead to my target. So I have to actually follow this probe. And then there's another shooting set. So we have a lot of paths to take, and I have to try and get, try and follow the same path as this. Silver ball in front of me. Okay. No, I don't. You, or I don't think you can damage the probe, so I can. I can just. I can just keep firing without having to worry about. Hitting it. I mean, why can't I just fly up and look at the probe from above? I mean, why do I have to follow it through this canyon filled with alien spacecraft? Right. Uh, sometimes I, I can't. I can't see because of the explosions. They they blind me. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this area is kind of also a little hard and also goes on for a, quite a while. So I hope I get it first try as well. The game is al already pretty frustrating as it is, so if you could shoot the probe as well and fail uh, right at the end, it would be all only more frustrating. Okay, right. Right again. I think, yeah, there are a couple of paths where even if I go on, on, on another side, I'll just 
Uh, I just read it again, or come across it again, so it's not that big a deal in some cases, but other cases, if I go on the wrong path, I'll, I'll die right away. So better to not, better to keep following it. Oh no, oh no. Almost got struck there. Already lost over half my shield. Oh dear. I mean, it's not that hard to to avoid sharks. The problem is controlling the ship to avoid the walls. Oh, so now we have two probes, and I have to follow the blue one instead of the red. Uh -huh. Trying to mislead me. Attention to where it is while also dodging all these shots. Ah. I don't know if I get any get any extra points for going in the middle of these rings, but I'm not, I'm not care. I don't care about points. So. See through my own shots. Ow. Oh dear, I'm running out of running low on shield. Remember, this is inverted control, so it's also a little hard to move this with the mouse. I have to. Whoa. Okay. Oh, where did you go? Ah, I crashed. Give it one more shot. Mission to Tethys. Tethys. Yeah, I did pretty poorly there. Losing a lot of shield very early on, so let's try it. Let's see. Yeah, the shield didn't recharge. The rings didn't recharge my shield, so I don't see what, what the point is. When I try dodging the shield, the, the shots like run into the walls. So it's very hard. Very hard not to hit anything. I'm actually not sure why I, I, I even bother shooting because the enemies go by so quickly that I can just try dodging. Oh, already we have a decoy. And I can't see. The shield. In that case, I think I needed to shoot. And I do need to shoot the gates to open them. No, I'm not, I'm not playing so that can This, these sprites kind of remind me a lot of early, very early RPG games that used uh, like a 3D map and sprites for environment. I, uh, for stuff in the environment, so you, you'd often see like caves with this, these sprites, stalagmites, stalactites. Another decoy. Maybe shooting, shooting these guys will, does get me, get me in my shield back. Maybe, maybe I do get shield back by shooting these. So. Uh. Come on. They're hitting the walls. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't 
don't think these guys... Whoa. Yeah, I think it's best to shoot them so I don't hit them myself. Oh, there's people firing there. Yeah, I think I, lo I lost a lot of shield uh, with that, getting stuck on that bridge. That the other the first one. Just gonna have to try and look through my, my shots and the explosions. See if I can still keep an eye on that throat. Okay, this side. I'm running out of space on my mouse pad. All right. Okay, I think I'm doing a little better, a little bit better than last time, but not very much. Okay, nice, Tahitian War as well. This time I won't get stuck on the bridge. Uh. I always hated these sections when I when I played this as a kid. The the, the exploratory levels were much more fun. Okay, come on. Ah, come on. It is the year 21. <sighs> well, we still have time. I mean, there, like I said, there are only only five chapters. We're still in the middle of the of the game, so we've got time for one more try. Like I said, this this time I'm going to keep shooting right away. I'm trying to stay away from the walls. Maybe, maybe if I, if I stay close to the ground, I won't be hit by those green shots so much. Yeah, the first level I only had to sh dodge ships. This time I have to dodge the ships and the walls, so... Harder. Again. If you don't fool me, I can easily see your red lights. Ah, uh, now I can see him. Ah. Kind of looks like a space harrier a little bit, with these sprite-like enemies. Okay, I'm doing well on with my shield this time. My shield recharges if I stop shooting. I'm actually not, not sure how this works. You have to be careful not to pick the wrong path because that would be instant death. See, there's a wall right at the end of that path oh, over there. Oh dear. Uh, is it getting faster? Or is it just my my imagination? Uh, I can see. Another decoy. Seems the decoy always goes to the right and while the real one goes to the left, so it's kinda easy to avoid. I haven't actually paid attention if this is procedurally, procedurally generated or not, but probably not. I'm not sure if they, they are repeating exactly all, all the time. Yeah, I think I cracked it. 
down and up and avoid, avoid the fire. A lot of tight turns here. Oh. Stay close to the ground. Uh, now my shield not doing so good. Uh, okay, I think we've been here. Yeah, this is still. This been here before. This is not new. Oh, a lot of them. Come on. Okay, now this is... Come on. Okay. I think I died here last time, so we're making progress. Come on. Ah, come on. Go to the side. Ah, other side now. Uh, very hard to control this with mouse. One shield! Come on! No shield! Uh. Uh, come on! Is this the end? No! It's not the end! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I'm recharging a little bit. Go. Okay, I think my shield is recharging a little bit. with time even if I'm shooting. On end end level already. Time, take time for my shield to recharge, recharge. I just hope the guy, the probe doesn't go into a corridor and I can't see it. Sometimes they take, they take turns very, very fast and I can't see where it, can, where it went. Time to end. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Typical action shot of jumping in, <laughs> rolling and pointing a gun. Okay, so now we get the fourth chapter, which is an, another exploratory. Ouch! And it starts with another one of these. Way over there. 
I'm actually not sure if the shots can still get you if they're if you're not looking at them, that they're off, off screen. But okay. So now we get to choose another another between three paths. Center, left or right. Well last time we tried going left, so let's see again try again. we go somewhere else <laughs> not not go left yet let's not go that way <laughs> it is the year 21 inside the dome chapter 4 Scout. this again I mean, there is a way to defeat that guy, but you have very, very little time to shoot at him, so... <laughs> it's very, very hard. Uh, well, maybe let's try center first. Go left, center, right. If this, if I, if I die here, I, I, I'll go right this time. Ah, uh, you. You're this version of the corridor thing, come on. Ouch! Bomb. How much did I, I? I didn't keep track of how much I had first before, but I don't think these guys take a lot of damage either. 96, yeah. I think I was 98 before, so just like the bats from the other level, this is only. Uh oh. What the? Um, hello. Ow. 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 Get away from me. Ah, I'm running low on energy. For my gun. Ow. Okay, so maybe going... Ah. Get, give me some time to recharge. Come on. Yeah, there you go. I wish I, wish I could find some uh, gun upgrade or something. Very low on energy, as it is. 54% of my sh uh, shield, so I lost a lot of life very early on. That's not a good sign. Yeah, maybe I should have. I shouldn't have shot so so much so quickly right right at the beginning of that fight. Keep the balance. Oh, here we go. I little storage thing. Is it a health upgrade or, or gun upgrade? Either one is fine. Okay, health. Restored. I got my health restored. Nice. 100, back to 100%. Uh, you look Come here. Ah! Dang it. Well, not, not that big a deal. He's on... Yeah, like... Should be 98 now. Keep cycling. Yeah, 98%. So not that big a deal if I lose, but still. Keep going. Uh, there's a fork in the road here. Let's go right. Like I said, like the the other, like the other, lay, uh, like the other level, I don't remember the layout of, of this, so I, I'm going partially blind. I, I mean, I'm not really sure which path to take, so, or at least which path that has the, the easiest monsters. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm not sure actually if the paths converge at the end, like, like the other level. 
Uh oh. Hello, big mechanical spider. With a tiny hit point. Okay, wait for wait for recharge. Oh. Come on. Show your ow. Show your weak points. Get a lot of more uh, robotic enemies in this level than the, the other one. The other one was more organic. Still weird creatures though. Ah, come on. Come on, you. He's just a, he's not really a spider, he's just a, a spaceship that's shaped like a spider. Like a robot. Actually, he only has six legs as well, so technically not an arachnid. Kind of maybe looks more crustacean than, than arachnid. He's on 24, almost there. 12, come on, one, two more shots, maybe one more. Ow. Ah. I never know if he's just going to turn around or turn around and attack. There we go. Okay, can I go up here? This is the dead end. Ah, oh, come on. I fought that, fought that guy for nothing. Or maybe I, I go down from that. Because I know there's a second floor in this this area. So maybe, maybe by defeating that guy, I don't have to fight him later on. Ooh. Hello? Ow. Shock me. Yeah, you better run. Let's go try going the other way then. I mean, this I I went right to get to this area, so I'm going to go left now on that fork. Okay, three shots. Ah, come on! Yeah, very quickly, very very quick. So I can't. Okay, this is where we got. So this is, should be the path to the left. Oh, another fork on the road. I'll go right again. This uh, uh, this uh, meter over here is actually a compass, so you can kind of use it to map out the environment if you want, if you want to try find your way. Oh dear, what? The? What is that? And now we have phantoms. Okay, so I, I think that's... I think there's a, like holograms or something. Be projected by the thing up, up, up there. Uh, can I... Can I shoot? Come on, you. Uh. Oh, oh. Ran out of energy. Ow. Yeah, I'm running low on health. That that one-eyed creature took a lot of me from me. Oh, but then I got yeah, I got a lot of back. Uh, okay. Okay, recharge. Wait for recharge. Second attack. There you go. I think there's a third one and there you go. Yeah. The screen is blue. That means I successfully blocked an attack with my shield. Come on, 24. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, it's basically pay attention to their their animations so you can you know when they are about to strike. It makes it easier to block the attacks. 
There we go. I defeated your your projector, so I destroyed your projector. So you go. there yeah this, this is a single corridor there are no forks in the road here so. okay let's keep going another fork in the road Going forward, then we went left, then we went right. So yeah, either way I think. Mini 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 mo. Right again. Uh oh. You again. Ow. Yeah, this one is a little harder to anticipate <laughs> when he's about to shock me. So now, we, yeah, we went right. So if we, if this is another dead end or something, we go on the other way. Navigating this maze-like environment. What's over here? Um. Ugh. Hello. Aren't you cute? Yeah. Get your tongue away from me. Ow. Yeah, show me your weak point. It's like a... Ow. Like a big ant thing or something. Okay, wait for my shield to charge a little bit. For my gun energy to recharge. Ouch. Yeah, 24 health, not 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 very good. Okay, come on. There you go. It explodes. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. We have to find that uh, communicator thing and destroy it, and then we actually have to try and go go get out I mean you, it's not like the first level where you can reach the boss and then defeat the boss and the level ends right away I have to destroy the thing and then try and find my way back out through this maze so it's extra challenge oh no another f another fork in the road well give this a shot I don't want to get I want to make too many right turns or uh, I might go in circles or something. Uh, on. Now I'm ready for you, come on. What? Okay. I mean, he does go away a, a, a little bit uh, after a little while, so maybe I'm not going to have to. Maybe I don't have to keep firing at him and just try and concentrate on pr shielding myself. Okay, is this a gun upgrade or health upgrade? Or health? Gun upgrade. Okay, I wish I wish I had a little bit more health, but better than nothing. Uh. I'm getting bad flashbacks from this thing. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I think... I think we can go up from here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No, not here. There, there, I think there's another way to... No, this is... Yeah, this is just a, a single... This just goes just goes forward, but I I think there was there's another another junction where I can go up to the second floor. Let's hope the big worm thing doesn't show up. Okay. 
Okay, no warm, no warm, no warm guy. But another fork on the road. And another one of these. Hey, don't, don't throw stuff at me. Ow. Okay, I have to try and fire with... Uh, not fire too, too much too quickly or my gun will run out. Maybe conserve my shots. Moving around so much. I think the only one left, maybe. Come here, you. There you go. But still, 16 level, 16 health, and not, not very good. Uh, I mean, so far we've always went with a 90 degree turn, so keep going. I have no idea if they're... I, th I think that if they were mecha spider eggs, they wouldn't be throwing them, so... Uh-oh, you again. Okay. I have very little time to fire at the center of his mouth, so... This time we, we got away. Um, can I go up here? Yes, I can. Second floor. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. We have a boss fight music. Uh. Yeah. Point your gun at me. Okay, there are weak points on the legs. Ow! Very low health here. I might, I might die here. But ouch. hard to kind of hard to anticipate when he was about to fire so but yeah we got to the boss of this level so not not too much too bad for a first first try for it a first run uh, but now I, I have no idea we <laughs> I had no idea what path we took so I think yeah I think we can take other paths and reach that same that same area so we'll let's try the let's try going the right this time Maybe we'll, we'll maybe we'll come across fewer monsters. Do a little better, and so we don't have to repeat the same thing all over again as well. Yeah, no damage. Nice. Okay. Going this way now. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep to the right this time, just following the wall, the right wall. Come on. Okay, okay third, third one, come on. Hey, there we go. Getting a little bit... Ah, you again. Okay. Ah, come on. I still can't tell when, when he's, he's about to sh shock me. this base is still mechanical I mean it, it is kind of still looking alien looking so I don't think this is a like a human base that the monsters took over maybe they built this base on the on this moon 
And another one of these shooting shooting galleries. Ah, with the big eye guys. Ow. Ow. Can't ow. Okay, come on. I just try and defeat them quickly so they don't accumulate all. I won't be able to block all of their shots. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thirty percent health, and the door closed again. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going right. We came from the that way, so go this nice return. So yeah, as you can see, this game is actually almost entirely FMV uh, the cutscenes and the transitions so very not wasn't very common at the time for this many this much cutscenes no wonder it takes up two two CD ROMs which was a lot at the time <laughs> hmm oh there's a dead end okay Come on, come here. Should I just wait until he's really close? No. <laughs> I mean, a few, a few of the transitions are about the same, so they can like recycle the same the same animations especially since the the rooms only light up when I get to them so you can keep using the same transition but still there are a lot of different transitions from going forward going to the left going to the right imagine having to uh, keep track of all these different animations and make sure they connect together correctly so the screen doesn't skip or something Quite a lot of work back then to keep the the whole the world cohesive like this. Okay, keep following and keep fo uh, keeping following the right wall. Just in, and if the if the if I come across the pipe that leads to the second floor then we should be make it should make it easier to to get back. Yeah. And you if you I I repeat the same path that I, I that I use to get to the second floor then I won't have to fight any new monsters either so Is this the gun upgrade? I could use a gun upgrade. Nice. Yeah, I'm still still a pretty okay on on health, so oh, didn't need that as much. Okay, so this is a good sign, I believe. If I if I reach the that area with the spiders tossing the barrels, should should be. I should be able to locate myself. I think, yeah, this is not, this is not the the place to go up. Uh oh. Ah. Oof. At least the the cursor changes kind of gives you a little warning. Of, oh, a monster is about to attack, and the cursor changes into a into a crosshairs. Yep. Here we go. Uh, I believe we. We went to the right to get to the second floor, but this might be an actually another area. So, it just happens to look exactly like the the first one. So, I'm not sure if we'll reach the same place again. Okay, this time I have a stronger gun. Okay. Okay, 
wait a little bit to recharge. Ah. What? You did you did you fire through an explosion so I wouldn't see it? Okay, I'm running low on energy. Conserve my shots. Yeah, when there's two of them on the screen, it makes it harder to block all the shots. Come on. Let's try. <sighs> Let's try this uh, this way. We see if we can. See if we can go up right away. Okay, will this? Uh, I don't think so. Oh yeah, it does, okay. Nice. And I believe the boss was really close by, so let's see if let's see if this same place. Uh might have I might have been oriented the wrong way. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, hang on. Let me let me try going the the other way. Maybe, maybe uh, the, on the previous run. Okay, I'm just going to just going to protect myself. Okay. Maybe in the previous run I went to the junction from the other side, and when I went up, I was pointing the other way. So I'm gonna try turning a 180 degrees. This see if I go, see if I reach the boss right away. Should make things a little easier. Yeah, this is the junction. Is the boss right here? Wait, there was. Oh, this is not the boss. This is another room entirely. Um. Hmm. Huh. Oh no, you again. Ow! Can you shoot him this time? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have come this way. Yeah, go. I think going to the going through. The, what? Ah, come on! I have to keep track of you. Where you're going? Yeah, this guy's a lot tougher this time. Ah, come on! Okay. Okay. Turn. Turn quickly. At least if I... Okay. What? Come on. Ah, come on, you. Ah. I got disintegrated. Nice. Okay, so maybe that wasn't the right way to go. Uh. It is the year. Okay. I'm gonna try the same path again, but this time going the other direction. See, if, see if that's, see if that uh, takes me to that boss again. Because that that spider-like boss was gu was guarding the, the the thing I needed to destroy. So if I reach that again, I can just blow up the thing and walk back out. Hopefully walking back out the same path because if I if I take the same path I, I took to get to it, I won't have to fight the same monster, so
<laughs> maybe they maybe they scanned me before or something. <laughs> That's how they add, add me to my collect to the collection after I've been disintegrated. <laughs> wall again that should make it easier to keep track of where I, where I've been and which path I took ah come on so yeah this is the second to last level if I if I manage to get this one only it's only one more one, only one more of these, and I think the last level is actually pretty short. So this is the big final challenge of the game. Uh, getting around this labyrinth, getting to the end and then going back. So I should, I should be able to finish this game in this stream. It will be a complete, a full playthrough. Uh, big guys again. Ah, come on. Okay. I'm going to use one of my... Yeah. I'm going to use my smart, smart bombs to get rid of them. Even if I wasted them all, but at least I didn't lose too much health. Okay, so I re already know this is a dead end, so keep going forward. I believe I went to here. I kept I kept following right. Yeah. Come on, you. One more. Come on. Ah. Always the last one. He always moves around more the third time. Okay, there should be. Yeah, there should the 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 area with the spiders run throwing the barrels and then the tube possibly the worm again and then go, go upstairs go to the second floor yeah oh yeah the upgrade the gun upgrade I think they only have one upgrade, uh, one gun upgrade and one health upgrade in, on each level, so you can't like keep upgrading the, the gun to 200% or something. Would be nice if you, you could, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think this, this goes forward. Does, there's no... nothing up there. Uh-oh. Okay. Have to remember to point at the center of the mouth. Right away. Only only a few seconds to live. <laughs> uh, okay, this guy these guys again. Charge. Show yourself. Ah, you must, you must use the explosion to hide your shots. Uh oh, running low on energy. I think I got one of them. There you go. 
Okay, so going back here should be the pipe. Yeah, this, this way should be the pipe with the passage up. And this time I'm not turning around and I'm going straight forward. So I don't come across that that room again. Then once I get back to this room, I, I should be easy enough to to work my way back to the entrance. Ah, see, yeah. There's the there's the monster, the the boss again. Okay, let's. I, now I have a lot more health this time. Should 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 be easier to take you down. Okay, already got one le one of the legs. Nice. Come on, you. Weak, another weak point by the cannon. Come on, you. Okay, charge a little bit. Yeah, doing much better this time. It's all about all about reaching the boss with a lot more health. Recharge a little bit. Running low. Dangerous. And destroy your gun. Now are you going to do? Still, still attacking me with your remaining legs. Ouch. Come on. Come on, a few more shots. Ah. Ah, come on. There you go. I'm you again. Come on, go, get away. Go away. No one likes you. And I believe the transmitter thing should be right behind, right beyond that boss. So. Yep, there we go. This is the thing we were told to destroy. So just, just fire, fire. And now we have to run. How much time? I think the there was self-destruct thing or something. Whoa! Uh oh! Come on! Come on! Okay, the, there's a timer run, running down. Okay, but yeah, I think I should be able to. I have 9,000 something. Not not quite seconds, but. Uh, I think I should be able to work my ray back. Yeah, this should be the tube. Going back down. Okay, let's see, but which way did I come from again? I think, yeah, I think this is the way. I'm facing the other direction, so I should be, I should be facing backwards now. And if I keep following, uh, no, this is not the right direction. Okay, hang on. Let's go back. Oh no, you guy. Come on. Oof. I mean, it's, it, only, it only dies with one shot, but he, he, if you don't get it right right away, pretty easy to die. So I, I don't want to die right now if I if I can help it. Uh, let's 
yeah, if I if I retrace my steps, I should be able to get to the exit without any big monster encounters. As long as I yeah, this is this the right path. As long as I keep going, keep following the the left wall this time, I should reach the exit. Tubes. There we go. No more worm. <laughs> no more risk of dying to the worm guy. See any, yeah, any path to the left, that's the one we should take. Yeah. I think it should be, should be pretty easy. Though. Yeah, this is the place with the big eyes. Keep going forward. I don't, yeah, we won't have to fight them again. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty easy if you retrace your steps. And then after this it will be the final chapter with the with the main boss, the big guy that controls all the aliens. I'm just gonna protect myself. Come on, go away. I'm not even going to bother trying to destroy you. <laughs> and this should, this should be the exit. Nice. cycle running animation <laughs> jumping into the ship because it was running out of time and everything's getting destroyed come on move come on engines overheating uh oh <laughs> shots fired Shots on target, 12? Well, I did even worse this time. 13 minutes. Okay. Uh, insert disc 1. Yeah, the sec first and second and fifth chapter are on disc 1, but the third and fourth are on disc 2. So I have to press Control F4 here on DOS box to switch discs again. There you go. I had never done this before on DOSBox, mounting two images at the same time so you can switch between them, but I had to learn to do this for this game. Just stuck in a tunnel, energy tunnel. Thank Thankfully, you don't have to control this part, this is just watching a cutscene. No more... No more of those uh, shoot em up levels. Weird, weird machine. 
right in the center. Shots actually look very different than the one as I was using in the first level. Purple beams. <laughs> oh, so this, these, this energy wall actually damages you if you touch. But yeah, I just have to sit back and watch this. He destroyed <laughs> that thing. Uh oh, yes. he's running right, right uh -oh. towards that thing. <laughs> Gonna have to go through the wall, even if it damages the ship. crashed into this alien thing, alien structure. That's kind of shaped like a starfish. Huh. Okay, a giant, giant starfish in space. He survived that. Oh. Crash. Although the ship is now damaged, so how are you how are you going to get out of here now? Ouch. Okay, so now we're in this enemy base. And we have a we're in chapter five, the final level. Hmm. Not liking the size of these doors. <laughs> Always a bad sign when you're in an alien structure that's very large. paths here. I don't remember which one is the correct, but uh, I think there's only one way to go. The other w ways are dead ends. So let's try let's try going left. Left was the correct, correct path. The big, big pit down there, over down over, at the end of this corridor. Hmm. Uh oh, we have fight music. Uh, hello. Yeah, this is the big bad. Yeah, the glowing helmet. Ow. I have to try and destroy while it's glowing red. Come on, you. Oh, I'm running at low on energy. Wait for. Wait to recharge. using stock uh, monster growls we've heard in a lot of games. Come on. 
very far away, but hard, harder to hit you. Come on. Whoa. Don't, don't punch me, you. Come on. Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh yeah, run, ran out of energy. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, he's 35 health. Not too not so bad. I mean, this... Okay, 26. Yeah, you, you stay away, so... I should try and hit you. The problem with him running, going out so far away is that it's harder to hit him. Ouch. Okay, almost, almost there. A couple more shots should be enough. Ah. There you go. Well, I, I destroyed his helmet at least. Boom. Oh, oh dear. Well, now we get to see his his pretty face. Ugh. You're one ugly mother. Ah! Don't, don't do that. Uh. Helmet, so okay. Got his eyes. I mean, we just we only we only broke his armor off. We weren't actually damaging him just yet. And he got pretty angry that we broke his helmet. Doors. Uh, doors aren't closing. Come on. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't see the target. Okay. So we're in this weird room. Uh oh. It's the same monster of sounds from Duke Nukem 3D. <laughs> all, of, all of the games used these back in the day. Uh oh. 
he has Earth and, and the screen back there. He's going to attack. Attack Earth. Oh, I can't, I can't let him. Come here, you. Fight your... Get your jet back. Ow. Ow. I have to do a better job at conserving my energy. Okay, when the when the gun glows blue, that means he's about to shock me. Oh no! I have to follow him, or he'll shoot me. He'll shoot as at his jetpack. Ow! Uh oh. Wait for the gun to reverse. Ow, okay. Ow. And this, this. His machine gun fire takes a lot of the shield. Okay. Back. Ah, oh, he's on the other side. Start re the recharge the shield. Okay, so yeah, 50, almost 50% 50 of the shield go gone with the, with the, with the machine gun fire. Oh. Okay, wait, recharge a little bit. Alright, glowing blue is going to shock me. I think I clicked too many times to the side. Come here, come on, go forward. Yeah, these guys were, were headed for Earth the entire time there. I, I intercepted an alien invasion. Come on. Go to the side, come on. Ah. I have to go back and then go to the side. Ah. Uh, if he's off screen, he just keeps firing at me. Come on. It takes a while to go forward or transition to this screen. Ah. Ah, dang it. Come on. Charge my gun. Oh, okay. Okay, chalk again. Okay, now back down, back to that. Okay. 60 to 24. Let's see who goes down first. You know? Okay, let's shoot. I think he's going to shoot again. Or is it the red? Yeah, the red. Ow. Ow. Oh no. Oh no. And shocking. Yeah, I have to do a better job at that. Ow. Oh no. Uh, I have to do a better job at predicting and uh, anticipating his. Uh, machine gun fire. Okay. Recharge a little bit. Oh yeah, I have... I have... Uh, ouch. Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, I forgot I had smart bombs this entire time. I could have used it to defeat him right away. Well, next time, uh, uh, only one more try. I should be able to defeat him. 
And if you fail on the last chapter, this is what happens. <laughs> Not only do you get added to that guy's collection, The starfish attacks the earth. <laughs> and everybody dies. Well, it is the year. quite the end. <laughs> okay, now aboard the alien mothership. That's the final final sh chapter scene. Five. <laughs> okay, we can skip this. Well, like I said, this final chapter is not quite as, as difficult as the the previous ones. And only There's only one boss, I mean, the, only the big guy. He's, you have to fight him a couple of times, but that jetpack fight was the last was the last fight, so if I had won that, I would be... I would have fi finished the game, so we're very close to the end. Oh yeah, we can check a lot, check out and see. I already know that he's on the left path, so let's check out the the other paths. There's. So yeah, now we know why the corridors are so big, and because the the guy who lives here is is very very big. <laughs> dead end okay so right is the dead end left is is the boss let's see what's down in the middle the center this we found we found the collection room <laughs> this is the, the place that shows up when we die if we step on here all the other monsters light up the caterpillar, caterpillar thing the the big black demon guy and the guy from the beginning and the red ant looking thing Maybe these are all creatures from previous planets that this this guy colonized or conquered. So no no wonder I would be the 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 thing on the on the final pedestal. It's one more for his collection of creatures. Okay, so let's go to the let's go to the boss again and see, give him another another try. And this time I'll remember I have smart bombs, and I'll leave the smart bombs for the final jetpack fight. <laughs> Even though they're pretty useful at the at the part with the the closing doors. I mean, if if I don't, if I'm not able to to defeat him while the doors are while he's getting closer, and he'll just eat me in one bite. <laughs> So it's pretty pretty dangerous to let him get too close then as well. Okay, so first stage, we fight him with the with his helmet. Come here. Well, at least the good thing about me having died back then is that you got to see the, the fail screen and you got to see the, the collections screen. So, 
turned out the best. <laughs> and now, now I'm trying to defeat him without dying. He's not that that hard of a boss fight, actually. I mean, any of the uh, any one of the of those monsters aren't that hard to defeat. It's, it's the problem is trying to defeat them one after the other in the longer levels. Then, then it gets it gets harder. But since he's the only only enemy in this level, I mean, I can I can always fight him with full health. Don't have to worry about trying to reach him in one piece. Okay, al almost half down, halfway down already. Kind of weird that it does. It only it only takes damage if it's lit up. If, if it's if the helmet doesn't have a light on, it it won't take damage. Kind of kind of a design flaw there. Ouch. if the, the creatures in the collection were actual creatures or there were j maybe just holograms just displaying the like information he collected along the way that's why he that's why he, he was able to display a version of, of me after I've got disintegrated he al already scanned me <laughs> so. I would be I would be the the human uh, in the collecting his collection of alien creatures, and no damage. Nice. So. Well, we can skip this. Skip this. <laughs> okay. Kind of looks like the predator. That's why I said he was, looked like one ugly mother. eyes now. He has very tiny eyes. And again I, I have a limited time so if I don't if I don't shoot him one time. Come on. I might just use my smartphone if I if it gets too close. Okay. Muted. Well, seems seems fine. Stream. What? Give me, give me scares over here. I think the stream was was going down. Or something. Okay, here's the dangerous part. I have. If I don't, just don't hit him before he reaches the door. I'm toast. Come on, I'll just keep firing. But then, when when my energy is zero, I can't I can't fire multiple shots. Come on, right in the eye. Come on. Okay. There we go. Okay, I managed to conserve my smart bombs to the final fight. Okay, now 
wait for him to arrive. <laughs> Not a good sign when you feel the footsteps. Room shakes when he when he comes. And he got suited up. I'm actually not sure if this is the same guy or, or if there are there are two of them. And one was just happened to be downstairs. Either way, he's going down. I have to stop his mothership from at attacking the earth. This, this starfish ship. I'm going to protect myself against the against your machine gun. Bang, okay. Dang it. Forgot about the shock. Okay, go down. Ow! Don't do that much. Dang it. Machine gun takes a lot of health away. Okay, time for a smart lock. Uh, okay. That did a lot, but still not, not too much. Ow. Okay, 56. Okay. Okay, doing a little better. 45. Ow. Ah, come on. Okay, I'm still ha I still have a more health than he does, so that's a good sign. Okay, wait for him to fire. Okay. I'll wait for the red bomb thing. Okay, and I'll wait for the clock. Dang it. Wait for the shock. Recharge and shock. Okay. Okay, 31 to 48. Still still good doing better than him, so. What? Don't run away, you. 27. Okay, come on. I hate it, I hate it when he runs away as soon as I get get close. Ah, come on, I'm doing I'm going I'm going to the side, come on. If I take a little couple seconds or longer. Uh No don't 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 go that way. Come on. Hmm, I was about to fire. Okay. Oh, oh no, okay. Okay, still doing better. I think it's actually just a glitch that shows him at 117 instead of 100 something. Oh, almost got me. Okay, down. Okay, 15 to 22, I'm not doing very well, but he's, he's doing worse, so that's good sign. Okay, come on. Let's try and be careful here. Okay, re recharge. Almost dead, come on. Oh, actually... Ah, come on, no, come on. Shock. Take one more shot and, and it goes down. No! Come on. Come on. There you go. Ah. That was close. Mm. 
Ooh. Yeah, he's burning from the <laughs> jetpack exploding. Oh, but I lost my gun. Oh no. Ooh. Stay away from me, you ugly. Can actually Actual data indicates a variety of compounds. What the? What the? Huh? Program complete. Language matched. Geomorph control. Terraforming program active. Please confirm target coordinates. Target coordinates confirmed. So yeah, I, I changed the terraforming Prepare program and approach. coordinates. Instead of instead of destroying the Earth, I'm going to be terraforming Mars. on a second wasn't I think I think Mars is too big uh, if I if I'm pulling a little uh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson here Mars is not to scale <laughs> the star was almost the same size as Earth and now it's almost the same size as Mars Mars is like half the size of Earth or, so, or one third <laughs> <Not. laughs> and boom now we have a, another planet for to solve the the overpopulation problem, if you remember complete. in the beginning they said the Earth was suffering from overpopulation. That's why they were trying to colonize other planets, and now we have a whole new planet. <laughs> so not only did I save the world, I I solved the the, the overpopulation problem. Twenty per nineteen percent. And that is, that was Creature Shock. Lower this volume a little bit. Get a little credits. So yeah, not, like I said, I don't really see a lot of people talking about this game. So I, I imagine that it's, it's pretty obscure. Not, maybe not, not many people know about it or have played it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it learning about this this weird game that I I bought as a kid because of this creepy box cover <laughs> creature shock like I said it was pretty pretty interesting to get a, a new game that you never heard of and try and play it and only to find out how it plays <laughs> I, I had no idea that this was a an on rail shooter when I f when I first got it, I just saw the weird creatures at, in, uh, on the box art, and I wanted to play it. I wanted to try it out. <laughs> it is the year okay. And the massive overpopulation of the Earth has yeah, see. The human race to investigate the colonization of the other planet. Yeah. So there we have it. <laughs> that was Creature Shock. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll have to, I have to actually announce that I'll be going on a, a little break. I'll actually be traveling, so I won't be streaming for the next couple of weeks, but I will be back in April. And I will be back with some more, some better streaming equipment. So I'll, hopefully I'll get a, a better camera, better microphone. I won't have to use this anymore. And made better, maybe even a capture card. And pos if that works, I, I will possibly be able to stream some console retro games as well not just old PC ones. So hope you hope you put up with this break, two week break, but and hope you come back in a couple of weeks to check out my, my new streaming setup and new new games. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you if you like retro games, I, I've played a lot of them and you can check back you can check my previous playthroughs of other games and 
follow the channel to know when I'll, when I'll be streaming again. So, that was it. Thank you for watching. Until, until, until I come back, until next time. See ya. <laughs>